Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis. With me today is June Lou, Seth, guys, John McTavish. How you guys doing? Doing well, man. Week seven. Loving, yeah. April 375th. I don't even know what season it is anymore. I want another two months of shelter in place. Did you guys see that Fred Rui tweet where it's like, what day of the week is it? And he's like, raspberry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just, that's kind of where, that's kind of where I am sometimes. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so today we are talking about the Lords of England, Connecticut, number three, Churchill. Uh, cigar is seven inch by 50 ring gauge, comes out of the Tobacco of Perdomo factory in Nicaragua. Wrappers, uh, Ecuadorian, Connecticut, binder and filter bowl from Nicaragua. It is blended by Santana Diaz. Uh, price point is $8, and the cigar was released in April of 2019. So follow that out of the way, June. What was your overall experience like with this cigar? Um, <clears throat> overall average. Uh, I, I thought it started out, you know, pretty good decent um very approachable profile like most of Santana's blended stuff are um you know so it started off with like you know typical like breadiness like toasted almonds cedar light leather a little bit of spice coming through but um like starting from like maybe like second third ish um it it became pretty inconsistent Um, i smoked two of these for review um and the inconsistencies kind of range from like having like a bitter bite and harshness to it to like this this weird form of like tannins that i didn't like very much um so you know uh i I thought it was just an average cigar uh which i typically don't say within the you know uh santana stuff so how about you, Seth? What were your thoughts on it? Yeah, I thought it was just below average. Um, you know, I think it's, if you look at the cigar, it's, it's you know, it's decent for the price that it comes with. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of, it doesn't show much complexity. The flavor profile doesn't have too much to it. Shut up, cat. Um, but it was, you know, pretty decent, you know, from beginning to end. Um, but if you look at, You know, you look at the price and you look that it comes out of Perdomo and you look at other Perdomos that are made. I'd rather smoke those. But then again, I'd rather cough up a couple other bucks to smoke something that's not a Perdomo. So, yeah, it's more about me. What about you, John? Yeah, it was pretty average for me as well. I think the tannins that June were talking about, I mean, I kind of find that in normal Connecticut's like a normal Connecticut shade I find very tannic or not very tannic but like it has tannic quality to it and I it's kind of wrapped up in the cedar component and the hay component I thought the first third was promising I mean it was more desserty it had a little bit of chocolate some interesting spice notes but the middle third and the last third were just sort of very paint by numbers Connecticut and there's nothing wrong with that if you really like Connecticut and you're kind of in the mood for a, you know a bigger cigar then it's it's totally for you but um as you guys kind of mentioned with the pricing and it just it just didn't do enough for me to sort of set it aside from any other Connecticut I might find on the market and um, that's a shame because I really like Santana's stuff and I think in general he blends cigars that I really enjoy Uh, so I I just kind of felt that this this just wasn't um, wasn't my cup of tea. Aaron? Yeah, I'm in the same boat as June. I thought the cigar started pretty well in the first third, but then um, as the sweetness left and some dry earth joined in, it kind of knocked the profile down to average the rest of the way. Um, you know, the profile was pretty linear after that first third, and then when you have that kind of setting in a cigar of this size, it kind of uh, tests your uh, attention span on it. So, um, you know, if I came back to this cigar, it would definitely have to be in a different Vitola, maybe a Robusto or something like that, just to see if a, a shorter length might you know, have a longer smoking time of what came in that first third where I was enjoying it a bit. Um, But, you know, maybe, you know, pair this up with some coffee in the morning kind of a thing, natural Connecticut shade type of pairing, and uh, you might have a good time. So, um, you know, give it a shot. The price point's not not bad, so it's it's not hard to, you know, give it a shot and uh, just kind of see what you think. Uh, Getting the scores, start at the top. Uh, June and I both gave it a 6.10. John was next to 5.95, and then Seth gave it a 5.50. So, How'd that six point one matchup for you, June? Um, I, you know, it, it's it's in that low sixes because the cigar did have perfect construction, which actually, I guess one good thing I could say about the cigar is you know shifting to uh, Perdomo, uh, creating the cigar, um, uh, bunching and rolling it, um, it gave perfect construction. Um, I forget. Do you remember what factory they used before? Costa Perdomo? Rica. Oh Costa wait, Rica. who? Who? Uh, Santana? Yeah, yeah was, he was in Costa Rica. Yeah. Oh, okay. They, I, I remember those cigars were 
like there was always some sort of construction issue. It was either a little tight and or the burn didn't perform uh, that well. So, you know, good move. I'm going to Perdomo, but let's have a better blend next time. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the same boat as you. As it was a slightly above average flavor profile, but it had perfect construction. So that's what I could say of the sixes. So, all right, John, 5.95. And I'm saying what you guys have already said, it's got really good construction, looks really good, pretty average flavor, but slightly above average flavor profile would be more accurate. Uh, Seth, what about you? I like the band. The band's cool on it, um, even though I think the crest isn't complete. Um, I mean, it's good construction, average cigar. Um, I think looking back on it, you know, you think about some of the past stuff Santana has has put his name on. Um, and out of pure aroma, and this is like a bust. Um, yeah. While the construction's better, it's just his stuff coming out of Costa Rica was light years ahead of this. Um, yeah. So, yeah. All right, any other final thoughts on this from you guys? All right. I see Ben Lee smoking these in the morning. You do? I can. I can just yeah. picture like Ben sure. Lee's Instagram post of these things. Yeah. All right, if you're just catching this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. We'll also check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. Follow us on all the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.